they've really become very popular. You know, the Gale Force Twins are everywhere. You know, you can't go by without somebody going, Gale Force Twins! They probably sign autographs as we speak. Instead of taking people out fishing and teaching them in the moment how to catch their snapper or tie their hooks to their line, we figured we can do it through social media. And it just had such an unbelievable amount of exponential growth. What are you feeling like, Amanda? My back is starting to get sore. You feeling it? Oh, yeah. I got her, man, I got her! <gasps> oh my god, it's huge! Look at that, look at that. Keep going slow, here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow, keep going. Got him, pull, let him go. Nasty, nasty, buddy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, baby. Get tight. Up tight, baby, up tight. It's all 90 pounders. 90 pounders? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Big fish, too. It's a big one. Oh, baby, come it's on. It's a big one. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Oh, no, no, Jenna, no. You got to only use medical. It's all the way over here. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. yeah, baby. I got him. Look at oh, him. my God. Greyhound. Oh. <laughs> I just want to make sure I get this clear in the beginning. I got Amanda. No. No, we switched really? now. We switched. No, we switched oh, spots. We switched sides. spots, and all of a sudden I wasn't paying attention. Cut. Oh, okay, let's try this again. All right, girls. Let's, I'm going to get this right this time. Yes. I got Amanda on this yes. side. All right. Loop earrings. Yes. And we got the frigate bird. Yes. Okay. And then we got Emily, Emily on this yes. side. And we got the swordfish. I have a swordfish. I've been loving what you guys do on all your YouTube stuff, and really, you know, it's kind of teaching and educating a lot of new boaters and other people that want to do it themselves. And anyways, I uh, was looking forward to doing this with you guys. Yeah, we're excited. Kind of a little bit something different than you guys do. Yeah, a lot of it's it offshore and this is gonna have some fun. Yeah. You know, so I think we'll start off going on the ocean and doing some sight fishing maybe for with a crab, a float. And then as the sun gets down and all the boats kind of running in, the tarpons start to get in the channels, they get a little more comfortable, they start coming up to the surface. Well, let's go see what we can do. Okay, sounds All right. like fun. Yeah, awesome. They've really, you know, they've been fishing all their life, and they've really become very popular. They have their own uh, series on Waypoint, and they have their YouTube channels, and all these Instagram and social media platforms. You know, the Gale Force Twins are everywhere. You know, you can't go by without somebody going, Gale Force Twins, you know, and probably sign autographs as we speak. We got fans everywhere. I just want everybody to know they have never said, oh, Silver Kings man. They have never said that one time. <laughs> Not once. Growing up fishing was not your typical growing up fishing story for us. So we grew up on the water. We grew up with parents that took us snorkeling and kind of in that outdoor salt life lifestyle. But the, our dad did not teach us to fish. A lot of people assume that. We did start to get into fishing when we were probably around 13 years old and they were very supportive, but neither parent knew how to fish. So they ended up kind of supporting us by taking us to the local tackle shops and asking you know, whoever worked there, hey, can you help my kids get a rod and reel set up? And then we kind of figured it out on our own. Prior to COVID, we were working full-time on charter boats. We had a charter business ourselves. And we did have a social media presence and following, mainly for marketing purposes. But then when COVID happened and the industry pretty much shut down, we both kind of looked at each other and we were like, okay, we can't not have a job. So we decided to kind of pivot. And we said, the one thing we can do is we can create content. There we go. Breaks off, breaks off clean, no one gets cut or hurt. And now I get to put a blue runner on. Yes. So instead of taking people out fishing and teaching them in the moment how to catch their snapper or tie their hooks to their line, we figured we can do it through social media. And it just had such an unbelievable amount of exponential growth that when the world did start to open back up, we kind of knew that we wanted to stick to the content path. With fishing being as addicting as it is, is some moments you can go out there and spend hours and hours and not catch a single fish. Look at the tarpon roll down there. Oh, look at them thinning down there. Should I recast? Yeah, reel up and cast way out. We take 
you know, eight hours of fishing and we can compress it into a 20 minute episode and it looks like it was action all day long, but really there were hours of us sitting out there doing nothing and just hoping we got a bite. Oh, got him, <laughs> got him, got him. <laughs> Woo! All right, we hooked up. Let's go that get him. Ever. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Just after you said it, huh? Like seconds. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. Fish the legend. At Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, we're working to make sure that you'll find healthy populations of bonefish, tarpon, and permit at your favorite destinations. From the Florida Keys to Belize, from the Bahamas to Mexico. But we need your help to fight for clean water and healthy habitats. After all, if we don't conserve our flats fisheries, who will? Please support us today at BTT.org and help us bring science to the fight. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Costa, see what's out there. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And now, 60 seconds in the mill house. I feel like there is nothing out there that can't be done better. So whether it's the techniques we're using today for tarpon or whatever fish we're chasing, because that's what we do, it's, you know, sure. this fly fishing game, everything out there can be improved on. Absolutely. Whether it's permit fishing, like 10 years from now, we'll look back and go, oh man, that strong arm fly man, we look what we did to that or look what this guy tied and, you know, we'll look at everything different down the road. For sure. Everything can be improved on. I think about it all the time. Anytime I see anything, I look at it and say, how can I change that to make it better? And I think that's what, you know, I apply that to fishing. What's the biggest change you see that's needed or is available in tarpon fishing? In tar at this stage? I, I don't know. I think, you know, every day I just look at the little tiny details of it and think about, oh, what if we did this a little more like this or the line a little, you know, just all the tiny little minutia of it. Uh, I think about all the time. It's just like a wheel turning in my head. Right. It won't stop, you know. To watch this and other full length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. Oh, got him. <laughs> Got him, got him. Woo! All right, we hooked up. Let's go that get him. That was the funniest time ever. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> Just after you said it, huh? Like seconds. I love it. Sit down real, 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 real fast you can. The magic hour is coming. Keep going. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo! It's going fast. This is gonna be a long fight, I think. All right, you sit down, you, just, you said, I'll quit trying, and look what happens. Okay, just keep them tight. Remember when you get around the boat, you know, you yep. wanna jump, make sure you bow, okay? It reminds me of the first time we ever caught a wahoo. We had like no idea what I we were doing. I, I needed to stretch out that line anyway, so way to do that for me, I appreciate it. The first time we ever caught a wahoo, and we didn't know, this was like way back when. We were like sitting there like trolling as fast as we could with like an islander. We go, are we doing this right? I don't know. I'm and gonna Google it. Pull out her phone to Google it. And then and you then, hook up? Yeah. Hook up. First wahoo. All right, now remember we're getting closer to her. So as it comes up and okay. starts to jump, like it might right here, remember to just yeah. bow out to it, okay? It's very important around the boat. Oh yeah, I'm nervous. Here it goes, get ready. There's my core. It's a nice one. 
Look at that, with the sun going through. Woo! How you doing? Are you yeah. Doing good? You doing good? Gale yeah. Force! You tired yet? We did it on the crabs. No. No? I mean, a little, but like, not like, not like super tired, just like, kind of tired. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, it is a big one. It's a nice one, yeah. yeah. About a 90 pounder. 90 maybe, pounder? Oh, 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 yeah, maybe a 80, 80, 90. Let's just call him 90. Okay. <laughs> Tarpon can be elusive. You can hook into them all day long, but it takes a lot to land one. When you're definitely, I call this a short leash, so when it jumps, this is the most important part to bow because there's no, there's no stretch, there's no give, nothing. Beautiful though. We're just getting into the magic hour. The magic hour. Landing a tarpon reminds me very similarly to landing a swordfish especially the big ones as they get bigger. You can see them migrating, you know, you can go out sword fishing and you can get those bites, but it takes a lot and takes a whole team effort to really land one. Beautiful. What are you feeling like, Amanda? How you feeling? <laughs> My back is starting your to back get sore. <laughs> you feeling it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now try to pull left, right? Pull down the back. There you go. Reel down. Okay, might do something silly here. Just keep pulling. Yep, here it is. Come back with it, girl. Come back with it. Run around the motor. There you go. Okay, good. Pulling. We're getting close there for a grab. I know. Getting close. Oh, there it is. Not yet. I want you to try to do what you did. Kind of did everything you would want a tarpon to do from you know, just crazy screaming runs, couple of nice big jumps, screaming onto the flat. And he did really all the damage and all the hard effort on himself. There you go. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. We got him, baby! Woohoohoo! Wow, nice. Nice. Look big at this. Big tarpon! Big tarpon. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at that girl. Look at that. Yeah. Let's see if we can get her. Amanda. No, look at that. Uh huh? <laughs> definitely, definitely 90 pounds. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. Look at that mouth. Out. Look at that mouth. Oh my God. There he is. Yeah. Want to grab her tail there? Or what? You grab her mouth. Really? Yeah, but two hands. Like, yep, yeah, like that. Oh, you got her? You got her? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm coming on the back side there. I grab the tail oh, so she's healthy. You got her big yeah. mouth. <laughs> All right, it's time to let this one go. Okay, right. let go of the mouth. Now yep. watch this. This is where she usually freaks out. Hold it, hold it. Watch this. You just get us wet. And usually there's like a, a pressure point they don't like. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give her a push. Give her a push, girl. Woo. Come on. There she goes. Hey, hey. Nice. Hey, hey. Good job. <laughs> uh, well, we're just getting into the magic hour. Yeah. I said we wrap we're back just around. Getting started. And just go ahead and try to get that again. All right. But you know what? That sounds awesome. That fish you caught in about. 10, that 15 was like minutes. the fastest tarpon I've ever caught. I mean, the run Easily. they did, and they jumped a couple times, fantastic. So, good job fighting it. Grabbed it. Woo! I mean, the suns, we usually don't even start getting the bites until it's dropping. So, let's go do it. Woo! Hey. Woo! Get an extra pair of eyes you can depend on with our most powerful radar yet. Get more power for vastly improved range and higher resolution. Get more fish. Halo 3000 debuts Bird Plus mode. Get more safety with smart new features like Zone Track and Velocity Track. And get more simplicity. With a range of preset modes, Halo radars have never been so easy to use. Halo Open Array from Simrad, our most powerful radar yet. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. 
If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. Simrad Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Florida Marine Tracks. Clarity in navigation. And by Pathfinder Boats. Angler Driven. God, it would be nice to hook up one right now, right? You know, when the sun's going down. I'm getting bit. You getting bit? <laughs> Just close it in real. Real. Got him. Are we on? We on. <laughs> Hooked up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we got the one. We had a couple bites. Just what we thought. Longer. Okay. And all of a sudden, boom. Hooked up. He might take longer than mine did. <laughs> so just keep reeling. Tell me how far oh, we're away from these marks. It's a tarpon. It's a big tarpon, it's 15 baby. Yards. Woo! 15 yards. There it is, right there, girl. You can see it. You can see it. It's in the light. Get him away from the mark, or you're scaring me. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, he's going to the light. Right oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, watch out, watch out. Down, down low, down low. All the way around. Good girl. Oh, my, oh my God. All right, come back the other way. Good move, good move. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> nice move. I think this one's a 92 pounder. Oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> it's bigger. Every fish is so different, right? That first one went wild, went all on the flat, jumped a few times, and then kind of used his energy up. This one hasn't done much of anything, and I hate to tell you, Emily, I think you're going to get into a battle here. Oh, oh, big fish. When it comes to tarpon fishing, you don't know what you're going to get yourself into. It takes grit. It takes patience. You have to think every time you rest, the fish is resting. Every time you fight, that fish is fighting. So you're getting tired as the fish is getting tired. Oh, there it is. I mean, those fish are, they're powerful, they're strong, they are, they're headstrong, and it's kind of becomes, in some ways, a mental game. Hooked into a sea monster alert. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. There it is. Oh, wow. it's rolled up there, yep. Yeah, we're gaining way more now. Yeah, we're starting to gain. Starting to gain? Yeah. Is she ready yet? No. <laughs> Holy cow. Pull, pull, pull. See how it stopped? Pull, pull. We are now over an hour. I don't think I've ever caught a fit, fought a fish for over an hour. Pull, 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 pull. See how you stop? Do it again. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. How are you doing? I'm doing. Good. I'm doing it. Are you surviving? Surviving. I mean, we're still getting close. Where are we? How long are we going on? Over an hour. Over an hour. Yeah. Get it! <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. There he is. Oh, oh yeah. Cow. And there she goes. <laughs>
Kings is brought to you in part by Free Fly Apparel. Comfort on, adventure out. Mako Reels, built to last, built to stop. By Yeti, built for the wild. And by Ameritrail Trailers, load, launch, relax. Water. Real forest. Real forest. Real forest. Real forest. Real forest. Real forest. Real and now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. At their best, science and policy complement each other, with sound science informing good policy. And partnerships are really key to making that process work well. BTT works with a variety of partners on both fronts, like academic institutions, local, state, and federal entities, and our conservation partners. For example, at Western Dry Rocks, BTT Science, sponsored by Costa, was instrumental in shaping the recently implemented four-month fishing closure that protects spawning permit and other recreationally important species from fishing pressure and depredation. BTT worked closely with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and our conservation partners on the closure, using science as the basis for support of the proposal. And we're continuing to coordinate with FWC on long-term monitoring of the site to make sure we continue to have adequate protections for permit at Western Dry Rocks. BTT has also worked closely with FWC and the South Florida Water Management District to design and implement restoration of juvenile tarpon habitat at Coral Creek Preserve. BTT continues to work collaboratively with FWC on sampling efforts to determine the most effective restoration designs to support healthy tarpon populations in Southwest Florida. BTT is a leader in science and policy and working with our partner agencies and conservation partners makes us all the more effective advocates for our fisheries, our waters, and our habitats. To learn more, visit btt.org. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Yep, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling, this might be my chance here. Keep pulling. Keep going, girl. Keep going, girl. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep going. I got her, man, I got her! Oh my God, it's huge! Oh, oh look at the size of that. Look at that, look at that head. Oh my God, girl, you got him! Oh my God. Look at the size. Oh my God, girl. 140, I would say. Look at the size of that fish. God, wow. Woo! Let me get the hook out. Oh my Ow. God, the hook's out. I don't okay. realize how big this look is. At that, look at the thickness on the back. There, do you see it? Wow, all right, you ready? All right, good job, girl. You ready? Watch, she's gonna take off. See you later. Bye. Look at her go. Oh my gosh. Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a great afternoon, guys. We truly, truly enjoyed it. To catch two beautiful fish like that. Yeah, thank and, you. Oh my God, with the walk off bite and uh, the end it like that is phenomenal. Awesome. Thank enjoyed you. it. Enjoyed it, guys. It was great. Woo! You guys are going to sleep good tonight. Oh, I yeah. promise you that. Comes. Oh.